Good morning, Brian with Grand Roofing, bringing you another episode of Roofing DIY Roof Repair How To. We've got a simple three tab missing here. Actually, there's various repairs on this to do, but this one's simple. We're gonna do a quick uncut, unedited video for you guys. So if you're a homeowner and you've got a shingle missing on your roof like this, don't think it's just a tab and it can wait. And I'll show you why, why it's important, why you wanna get it fixed. And it's actually rather simple to do, so you can do it yourself if you want to. If you're safe to be up on your roof, I'm not telling you to do it. Take your own safety in your own hands. But why is it important if it's just one tab? Well, if you got some wind storms, some bad wind storms, any kind of damage, it doesn't matter. Go out as a homeowner, just check the property out. If you're a tenant, check the property out and then call your landlord and be like, hey, there's roof damage. But if you're the homeowner, it's important to get taken care of because you don't want it to cause more damage. If it is just one tab, you see this where the two shingles come together, that is what's gonna cause a problem. Or if you've got multiple shingles missing, then that's obviously going to be an issue. If you've got a shingle, three tab roof, this is how they come. It's one shingle has three tabs. That's why we call it a three tab because it's got three tabs to it. When you roof these and you have two shingles that come together, there is a keyway or a butt or a drip groove. I've heard it called many things. Right here, we've got where two come together. So if you look at this, let me put the GoPro on real quick. So if you look right here where the two come together, this shingle is split all the way up here. And then you've got just the paper, decking, barrier, whatever other layer, whatever's under this right here. So water can get into there. The row below it, if you look at the height of where this shingle under comes or comes under this, you've got that much room now where water above running down can trickle in here and then cause more problems. So it could, if there's no paper or torn paper or damage to it or nail holes, it could trickle in. It could rot out your decking over time, possibly rot a truss, cause sagging wood, drip into your insulation, cause ceiling damage, a lot more. So it's better to take care of it. If this shingle were over here, say, let's pop this loose. If this one were missing, it's not quite as important because there's no keyway. There's no drip grooves right here. You do have nails to worry about, but it's not as important as this. The lower down on the roof, the more issue because you've got more rainwater running down to it. So again, if you're a homeowner and you see something, make a phone call, get it repaired, or go up and do it yourself. Watch videos like this. It will definitely help you save a lot of money in the long run. So how do you do the repair? There's a crappy way, which a lot of roofers unfortunately do. They charge you the money and they're gone. And then it blows out again. And then in this, I'll show you a way that you can do it that's really technically, in my opinion, the right way, as opposed to uh, a side of roofing your whole roof, depending upon how much damage it is. So let's get started here. And I hope the audio is working. I had a whole day of different repairs and there was no audio on any of it. So I'm kind of annoyed. So just a little bit about the terminology of the shingle. How do you do the repair now? Well, what I've seen people do, let's cut one of these down. I want to show you what I see people do. They'll just try to shove this under there, but the problem is it's gonna hit nails everywhere. So they will cut this short. I don't wanna waste this tab, but they're literally gonna slice it right here, just kinda of tuck it up under there. It's not a good repair. Or say this tab is completely missing, they might cut it short just to tuck under, not hit this nail, but the problem is where it's missing here, since they've cut it short, it'll trickle in right here. Again, it's not good. So just flat bar to part. Use flat bar. The tab that's missing, you're gonna to need to go one full row up, Pop that free because if it's roofed right, this nail is going to be in the top part, the headlap of the shingle. So split these apart. Pop that nail out. Then down here, that one's going to be out of the way. But we're going to replace this because it's damaged too. Pop that one out. Just cut this back. Try not to cut your shingle under it. Now use a flat bar and just finish the part where I can't get my knife and hand in there. So at this point, if this wasn't damaged, you'd be ready to put it back. You would simply take your shingle tab, shove it in there, nail them off, nail them off, nail them off, put some sealer, and that's it. We're gonna go a little further since there's two I'm replacing here just so you can see it. Still need to pop this one free because we're taking the shingle under it now. That's up there ways. So we're gonna add a nail here. Right, 
By the way, you got to check this out. I say this in about every repair video I do. A mag hatchet by AJC will make your life a whole lot easier. All right, get your tabs ready to go. Just kind of line them up across the bottom here, evenly spaced down the sides. And nail it off. Make sure you check everything that you're not missing a nail in something. Because I'll see where somebody will pop a nail, cut it, and then I'll nail this, but that side there is still missing the nail. So just take a second and check it all. These were just a full shingle, just sliced. Then line them up. Good to go. Ready to nail it off. Ooh, that went right through a nail hole. Let's re nail that. And then I find this pretty important. A lot of people don't. I've actually gone to do repairs on roofs after somebody had done a repair because these are never gonna seal down. So it looks good, looks repaired. They might warm up and lay down, but they're never gonna seal. Then you get another windstorm or several windstorms. They flap, they get fatigued, crack and blow off. And then you got the same problem. Don't be that uh, roofer that does a repair like that. So just take a little dab into the corners and over a couple nails or so, sealing the nails that are actually out far. That's it. I don't do a line. I don't do a line, especially near where two seams are, like or a seam like this, because you can trap and divert water. So a little dab over a nail and on that corner. These will, will seal down pretty good, this to here anyways, because it's new and then these to that, but the corners aren't going to. So just put a small dab of sealer down. It's not much. Especially if you're doing the repair and you're expecting a storm coming, then definitely seal it. Those will start drying up a little bit. Sealing down won't be an issue. That's all there is to a repair for three tab. It's relatively simple. The other repairs on this house are going to be just like that, just more of it. So we'll keep the video short here. So as I said, as a homeowner, simple responsibility of being a homeowner you hear, have a storm, check it out, make sure you're not missing anything. Because it can and will lead to damage down the road. You can't just be like, oh, oh, it's good, it's just one tab. It will eventually lead to other problems, costing you a lot more. I mean, just think about that rain. It's got to go in and go somewhere. So it's getting into something. It's going to slowly deteriorate the wood, rot the wood out, come into your ceiling. Then you got drywall issues. It's just not good. Repair it or call somebody to repair it. So I hope the video helped. Give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Let me know what kind of topics, what kind of footage you want to see. There's only so many repairs I can do before they just get repetitive. So if you want to continue to see repetitive repair work, I guess every repair is slightly different. Let me know and I'll continue to do it. I just hope my GoPro holds up. I've had a lot of issues with the audio. I hope I've got audio today. I did a quick audio test, but it gets annoying. A full day of audio missing. I was pissed. Anyway, I got to get busy taking advantage of this nasty day. We're not doing a roof install because they're calling for more rain today. It's really gloomy, just moisture in the air, getting me damp. It's uh, foggy, just gross. So figured I'd do a few repairs for you guys. Links down in the description down below for the mag hatchet and telescoping ladder thing is awesome. Anyway, until next time, be safe, and we'll see you then.